Welcome back to the channel, where I show tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your media. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Prowler. Prowler is an index manager built on the R platform and integrates into radar, sonar, lidar, radar, wispr, among others. In a previous video, we set up radar and sonar, but since Prowler was not installed yet, we had no indexers. Let's take care of that now. Let's get into it. All right, here we are at the Unraid main page. To get started, go to Apps. In the search box, type in Prowler. Press Enter. Since our other containers are from Binhex, let's select that one. Binhex Prowler, click Install. First thing we need to pay attention to here is the port number, 9696. Let's see if that's available on our system. Scroll down to the bottom where it says Show Docker Allocations. Open that up and look for port 9696. I do not have it listed, so we're good to go. Go ahead and hit Apply. And once done, press Done. Then we go up to our Docker tab. In the list of applications, find Binhex Prowler, go over to the right, and turn on the Auto Start. On the Binhex Prowler, click on the icon, then Web UI. The first page you'll be welcomed with is an authentication page, which is basically saying that you need to set up some authentication before to let you proceed. So under Authentication Method, we'll set it up like we did for Radar and Sonar. Click on Authentication Method and choose Browser Pop-Up. Authentication we want enabled. The username, go ahead and select the username. I did demo in the past, so I'll do that again. Password, once again, another super secret password, and then click Save. All right, to get started here, let's jump over to Settings on the left side, and let's go to Apps first. Here's where you're going to set up the different applications that integrate with Prowler. In this case, we're going to set up Radar. To do that, under the Applications section, click the plus. Look for Radar in the list, select it. Within here, we have a few things to set up. The Radar name is fine. Next, we have Sync Level. Full Sync indicates that Prowler will sync all the indexers back into Radar. Down under Prowler Server, take out localhost and change that to the IP address of your server. My case is 10.0.0.11. Then the port number is the one that you used during the setup. And the radar server will be the same. The IP address of your server, and then the port number for the radar server. Last, we'll need radar's API key. To get that, let's go back to our Unraid server. Back in Unraid, on the Docker tab, on the left, select the bin hex radar icon and click Web UI. Log in with your information. And to get the API key, we need to go under Settings, then General. And at the bottom, you'll find the API key listed there. Select the Copy option, go back to Prowler, and paste that information in. When you're set, press Test. You should have a green check mark. Then click Save. And Radar set up. To set up Sonar, it's the same exact process. You click on the plus, go to Sonar, and then fill out the same required information. The server, the Prowler server, and the Sonar server and then Sonar's API key. And that will be located in the same place within Sonar. If you have any of the other R services, such as LiDAR, Radar, Mylar, or Wispar, you can set up those the same exact way. I already have a video on Radar and Sonar, but if you'd like to see another application set up, let me know in the comments which one that is. But for now, I'm just going to focus on Radar. This time we're going to go to Settings, then General. And at the bottom, after pasting in your API key, scroll down further. You'll see proxy listed there. Select Use Proxy, and the proxy type is going to be the HTTPS. The host name will be the IP address of your server. In this case, it is 10.0.0.11 for me. The port will be the port used when you set up your Deluge VPN. By default, it is 8118. Then click Save Changes at the top. That's pretty much all we need to do in there. So let's jump up to Indexers. At the very top, click on Indexers. And then click Add New Indexer. Here's what really makes Prowler the best. There's a tremendous amount of torrent sites out there, and Prowler's got a big majority of them already built into it. If there's anything you're looking for, it's probably got it in there. But because there are so many, let's filter out the list a little bit and make it easier on ourselves. For the protocol, if you drop down and select Torrent, and then the language, in this case, I am speak English. So United States English right there. Privacy. I'm just going to look for public servers, and then under categories, since we're talking about radar right now, let's just worry about movies. Scroll down a little bit, you'll find a movie category. Select that. Now the list below is filtered into torrents that are only in the U.S. English language that are public, and they have movies. So find something in the list here that you'd like to add as an indexer. In this case, let's try badass torrents. Select that, go to the bottom, press test. There we go, that one's got a green check mark. That one's all set. Hit save, 
Now, if you close this list, you'll see that it is now listed in the indexers. You can go in there and add as many indexers as you would like. We'll filter this out and we'll add one more real quick. English, US, privacy, public, category, movie. Let's try another one. How about the good old Pirate Bay? There we go, that one worked. Hit save. We'll close this now. Now there's two indexers listed. And if you wanted to add an indexer for sonar, for TV shows, it's the same process. Click add indexer, protocol, torrent, language is still English, US, privacy, public, category is TV. Maybe. There we go. And let's see what we can find here. Let's see uh, EXT torrents. Test. That one's blocked by Cloudflare. How about the Easy TV? Test. That one works. Then click Save. Let's add one more. ISO Hunt. Test. And that one's successful. Click Save there. Then you can add as many as you'd like. It's really quite simple to do. When you're done with your selections, go ahead and close. Now you'll see your list of indexers that you've got added to Prowler. Here you'll find the indexer's name and some information about each indexer. Over to the right, you'll find the categories. And these are the categories that each indexer supports. So the Badass Torrents supports movies, audio, PC, TV, XXX, books, and others. The Easy TV only supports TV categories. All right, we're done here for now. Let's go to Stats. The Stats shows you some statistics from Prowler. In this case, we have two active indexers, we have six total queries, zero grabs, and one active app. The average indexer response times are listed here, and right now it's just got the two listed, so the Pirate Bay and then Badass Torrents. Indexer failures would be listed in this section, and there are several other things that you can look through and find out some information if you'd like. This time we're gonna to go to Settings. Let's jump down to Notifications. In Notifications, here's where you set up notifications to different notification services, such as email, Discord, Notifier, Prowl. There's all kinds of them in here. So if there's something you'd like to set up, just go into it, fill out the required information, and then hit Test. And if it's successful, hit Save. Under UI, this is where you set up the date format, time formats, and other such information. You can set the theme for light, dark, or auto. And at the bottom, you can set the UI language. Let's jump down to System. System shows you the health of your current Prowler setup and if there's any failed indexers. Currently we have none. The About section has some information about Prowler, the version number, the database. The biggest takeaway here is the version number and the uptime. Then under Tasks, just like Radar and Sonar, Prowler has scheduled tasks as well. And this is where you would go to manually run one. To do that, you find the one you'd like to run, let's say the backup here, and click the double arrows and they will chase themselves, and then it'll run that task. Under Backup, it shows you the backups that Prowler has for itself. You can do a manual backup by clicking Backup Now, or you can Restore Backup by clicking the Restore button. Under Updates, it shows you the revision history and the different changes that have been made to Radar, both new and fixed items. Under Events, it shows you the events that have happened within Prowler. In this case, we had a couple backups started. And then Log Files, if you're having some issues, this would be the place to go. You can download the latest log file and look for errors within. And that pretty much sums it up. Prowler is pretty easy to set up. Once done, it saves you a tremendous amount of work. But before we go, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Prowler. And make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a future video. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. And in this case, this one's blocked by Cloudflare's protection. There you go. As you can see, it's unable to access that site because it is, bo because it is blocked by Cloudflare's protection. Because it is blocked by Cloud... Because it's being blocked by Cloudflare's protection. Because it's being blocked by Cloudflare protection. It's really hard for me to say. Because it's being blocked by Cloudflare protection. Protection. Because it's being blocked by Cloud... Because it's being blocked.